Hello, love Oz. If you guys don't recognize this set, this is the set of Shan Booty is Your Perfect Date. We are in season two at this point. Season one was all about creating a connection with anybody without the help of hair, makeup, and wardrobe, just really sitting across from somebody and bonding. Season two, every single date that I go on, I'm doing a different psychological sex, love, and relationship-based experiment, but I have zero idea how they work in practice. So this is the episode where we get the complete, unfiltered, unedited, raw feedback from all the guys I've been dating. You're, you're, you're a step above, uh, uh, date, yeah, you're a staircase above dating a porn star. Was there like a menu before? Because I didn't get to pick this. Did you pick yours? I no. Here, well, you can cheers on this one. I'm trying to get some of this off, so that works great. Perfect. All right, let's just get it. I think that all men should date a stripper at least once in their life. And you twelve. Bring the motherfucking ruckus. I think I'm gonna get gray hair by the time I'm 32. <laughs> Weed products. Cool. <laughs> So all season long, while you guys are watching each episode and seeing what people say about me, I actually have no idea. I wanna know that these lessons can work for you guys, that they are transferable to anybody. So to refresh everybody, my hypothesis is that 80% of these guys will say yes to a second date and eight out of 10 of these experiments are going to work. That being said, let's roll on into our first experiment, which is She's Got the Look with Evan Gomez. This experiment was really to prove that season one was true, that looks were not everything. So I dressed myself up to look like Evan's ideal type, but I was the exact opposite mental of what he wanted in a woman. You may have forgotten who Shithead Shan was. Aren't you kind of small to play football? So more, um... But what really counts is what Evan thought. Let's go see. Where do I begin with my date with Shannon? Uh, speechless. Is this girl racist? Is she insulting me on purpose or just like accidentally? And I was like, oh, it's accidentally, even better. You know when you're not sure if it's getting across? It definitely got all across. Ah, oh, I feel bad. It actually feels kind of sad to hear someone who referred to me as racist. I don't want to be that person. Were there any qualities that attracted me to Shannon? Physically speaking, yeah, she's a pretty girl. I'm into light eyes. Body style was on point and she seemed to have a nice, simple sense of style that I also appreciate. That is exactly what I needed to hear. So if he says no to a second date, that proves 100% that looks alone are not enough. Uh, would I go on a second date with Shannon? No. I didn't like what I heard overall. You say things that are insensitive or like can be perceived as offensive. I know I didn't want a second date and I'm actually really happy, you know, again, for mankind that he said no, but it still got rejected just now. That's my first no to a second date and there was no hesitation. He just shut my ass right on down like a garage door. She it. Good, but she it. So are looks enough to completely ignore personality? No, absolutely not. One of the main complaints that I got after season one is, well, it doesn't really matter because you look decent enough without makeup on, so any guy's gonna go for you regardless. And this just really proved with all of the work in the world. Guys, I spent like an hour and a half on my makeup. I went and bought an outfit specifically that I knew that he would really, really dig. And still, it absolutely was not enough to make him feel like he would ever share a free meal with me ever again. All right, so one date down and I did not get a second date, which is a sham booty is your perfect date first, but I'm happy about that. And the experiment was an absolute success. And you know what guys, I'm so confident, fuck it. Zero on one, 100 on the other. Let's go. Going on to experiment number two, which was questions and answers with Lamar Jones. What is one thing that I had to know about you? It's like, listen, you gotta know Lamar, you know you don't do X. Scrape your for your teeth with the fork. Psychologists found that if you ask people these 36 intimate questions, you will create a bond with someone that feels like love. So I don't really know how he felt, but we're gonna find out. I, I think Shannon's great. I think she's intelligent, smart, a conversationalist, you know, very uh, sure of herself. Um, and, and her confidence came through in the way that she even asked and posed questions. Well, the questions were kind of canned. I think what's cool about that is that people love talking about themselves so much that even if you're going through a list of 36 questions and you are hardly talking about yourself ever, to them, they're like, yeah, like she was really open and forward thinking and funny and honest. When, motherfucker? I was just asking you questions. I would go on a second date with Shannon um, because I think she's an, an excellent person and uh, would love to explore that. Yeah! 
Okay, so we got yes to second date. But the main question, of course, is did he feel a feeling close to love, a strong bond and connection with me because of the 36 questions? I think that there was a genuine moment where we connected. You know, the questions, I thought they were really great and making me feel comfortable. Um, and connected and feeling like, okay, well, I can open up and share this information with this individual. I think I'm going to keep a, a lot of those questions. <laughs> uh, I think that they're, they're great first date questions. Awesome! Okay, that kind of made me feel sad a bit because it's like, oh, joke's on you. Thanks for telling us all your private information. But it was for science, and if Lamar was a little butt hurt, that is worth it because you guys now know the truth that these questions work, this experiment works. We got a second date and we got yes to the experiment, and so take these questions and go forth with them and multiply. Unless you don't want kids, then don't. Rolling out of that one, we're going to experiment number three, which is Mama's Boy. So instead of researching Grant, our date, if you guys recall. I go skiing a lot. I sometimes wear this like ducky onesie I got at Target for like 15 bucks. And so I researched Andrea, his mom, her mannerisms, her hairstyle, the way that she dressed. We wanted to give him that same mom kind of feeling. But the question is, not only did it work, but did he recognize the fact that like, yeah, I do want someone who reminds me of my mother. She was really cool. She was, she was really dope. Um, I, I like the vibe, I like the, the outfit, the hair, the eyes, like the whole thing, the whole package was an, a nice one. I felt like there was, there was chemistry there for sure, an, an enhanced familiarity between us. That seems really promising off the top. First of all, guys, I would never wear my hair like that. So the fact that he liked my hair like that, which is Andrea's hair. No, no offense to you, Andrea. It's a fly ass hairstyle, you know, I'm sure in your, in your neighborhood, but not in mine. This is a step in the right direction. I feel like the familiarity, the liking of the look, Maybe we can already call it yes. I would, you know, like, I would love to go on a second date with her. So yes, a second date though, that's good. So we're halfway there. Did we get the most important one though? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now that I know th those facts, I, I mean, the physical attributes, the, even the, 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 the shirt, the hair, it, she's trying to be like my mom, and I can see that. My, my mom and I have a semi-close, semi-strained relationship at times, and I don't really look for somebody that's like my mom. Now I want to know how she really is, because now <laughs> she's not date my mom. <laughs> I don't expect people to own up to the fact that they're looking to date their parent, which is kind of creepy. So I do think that this was an absolute success. Like he said, I had the look down, he felt the connection, he felt the familiarity. What other proof do you need? So I feel like we're in great shape right now and it can only get better, I hope. Moving on, number four was sex sales with Tim. How about yourself? I don't think I can say the kind of nuts I prefer, but I think second to that would be... <laughs> We used sexual innuendos, we used aphrodisiacs, I used fertile arousal based makeup, and I made myself look as horny as possible without being a dead giveaway to see if we could incite sexual feelings without of course being overly lewd, crude, and sexual. So it's a really bland date. If you guys just listen to the audio of the date. I work basically off and on the coast of Southern California from San Diego up to San Luis Obispo. But if you watched it, other parts of you would wake up, I promise you that. But did Tim get woken up though? Ah, uh, my date with Shanna went pretty well, I think. Shanna made me feel comfortable when she squeezed the lemon in the glass and it spilt out. And just kind of the fact that she actually made a little bit of a hiccup there and made me relax even more. Come on, I made a lemon cum. I'm feeling a little discouraged right now because the date that I was on, I was jacking off a water bottle and molesting some avocados. The date that he was on, I was humble, nice, and wearing a turtleneck. Uh, yes, I would absolutely go on a second date with Shannon because I would like to get to know her better. She was very humble and mellow and I also she was just very nice and it's rare to meet nice people like her these days. Hopefully once it's revealed to him, then he's like, okay, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I still got a boner. That's what I'm hoping for, but it's kind of seeming like that's not the case. So yes, I felt a stronger sexual connection on this date uh, relative to other dates that I've been on in the past. Even though I didn't pick up on it and at that moment, I think some of the things she was doing, such as the avocado rubbing, definitely just naturally being a guy processes, hey, this is sexual. <laughs> All right, that sounds like good news that the sexual innuendos, again, were speaking to the subconscious that maybe he didn't really realize them at the time, but he knew for some reason he felt more sexually attracted to me than he would on normal dates. So I would say that even though he is like the dorkiest, the most whale penis guy out there, this experiment was a success and a testament to the fact that you should go with science over sleazy. The results are just the same. You gonna get you some. 
rolling on, last but not least, I went on 10 dates with 10 different dudes and I had 10 minutes for our speed dating episode. Now this one, the goal was to try to recreate season one, but instead of having 10 episodes, we had one episode. Okay, so I don't remember none of y'all names, but I am extremely excited to see what you over there has to say. Shannon was very elegant, very pretty. Just fun, kind of vibrant. She was willing to play a game, like on the fly. She's willing to lose and like still be cool about it. She goes around giving people advice on AIDS. I don't go around giving people advice on, on AIDS. I talk about HIV prevention and of course living with it. But nonetheless, the, the goal here was to make that fiery first impression. And I think we did that. But do they want second dates? Yeah, I would absolutely go on a second date with her. Definitely. Absolutely, yeah. I would absolutely. I would go on a second date. I would definitely go on a second date with Shannon. Yes. Yes, definitely. I'm an open-minded person. I would go for it. So I would go on a second date with Shannon to maybe perhaps a meal or a musical venue. And that could be Chicken Tandoori. <laughs> We got 100% second dates in that one, which is actually above what I hypothesized. So we're doing good so far. Yeah, I definitely think there's a possibility it could be an ideal match. Yeah, I think Shannon and I were made for each other. She's definitely somebody I can see myself being with. Yes, I definitely can think that I would like to go in that direction. For myself, I would prefer to have some time to get to know the person better. I don't think you can really grasp a person that quickly. That's kind of early to, to figure out she's an ideal match. Yes. Shannon would be the perfect girl for me. I'm not going to do better than Shannon. <laughs> All right, so we got 100% second dates and 70% ideal matches. Absolutely, that qualifies this experiment as a success, and I officially redeemed myself from season one. And it is true, you can make an intimate connection with somebody in a very short span of time, so no excuses, guys. Learn your tips, go out there and practice them, and go meet people, because after that, the sky is the limit. So there you guys have it. Those are our first rounds of experiments. And so far, we're at 80% second dates and five on the experiments. We've had a lot of crazy, a lot of ridiculous, a lot of funny, but hopefully at the heart of it all, a lot of information and education for you guys. These tips aren't just for textbooks, they're for the real world. You can take them and use them to your advantage. Some of these would work really, really well in a job interview, would work really, really well in an on-the-fly meeting. And so even though they're funny, they're fun to do, they're also really practical. Using these techniques or season one techniques, you can always go and find a way to connect with somebody else and find some common ground, even if it is taking in the Evan route. Just smiling and nodding and in your head thinking, <laughs> I fucking hate this bitch. That's how crack addiction starts. <laughs> that's literally, that's literally the definition of how crack addiction starts. All right guys, get some rest, get you some food and get your shoulders massaged because up next we got shit like this. If I could, I'd run into my own arms. And then like, I'll be like on the beach at the same time, like in the corner, like jacking it to watch myself. <laughs> if you guys want to see more and watch these full episodes, cause yo, there's a little taste of how entertaining these things were. Go to fulls.sc slash Shan Booty and you guys can download the full screen app. If you are an AT&T customer, you get one year for free 99, an entire year. If you're not, you get one week trial for free to test out, see if you like it. And of course, to see a lot of me, all of season one is currently on there. And now half of season two. I don't know what other reason you need. And we'll see you guys next episode where we have a brand new experiment. On the app though, not on here, sorry. Go over there, I'll see you over there. I got the remedy, you got the energy. I got the Hennessy, I got the canopy. You can't be mad at me, you not the enemy. Rapping just having to pass up. I'll package my ass up and step into my luck. Ass so curly and ass so fat. Ass so curly and ass so fat. Ass so curly and ass so